Hi guys, welcome to Cognitive Hub Talent Tutorials. In this video, I am going to explain about a one more Java component present in the talent that is nothing but a T Java Flex component. So basically, in the previous video, we have seen about T Java as well as T Java row component. So what it means is in the T Java, we only have one space and in the T Java row, we have one custom code where we can write our Java code and we can do some translations. And in the T Java flex, row, uh, flex component, we have mainly three sections. One is start, uh, start code as well as main code and next one is end code. So these are the three sections that we have in T Java flex. That is why that is the reason why I, I made uh, made a separate video for T Java Flex component. So let me illustrate those three components uh, clearly and with some practical example. Now without wasting any time, let's dive into the topic. Okay guys, uh, now what I want to do is uh, basically I am inserting one data here. So the schema should be like id which is an integer and then sorry product name product name which is a string and then price which is an integer. So these are the three fields that I have in my sample file. Let me show you my sample file also. So this is the sample file that I have Java, uh, that I have Java underscore component or CSV with the three fields, uh, three columns as ID, product name, and then price. So these are the three records that I have, and I need to do some configurations here before going to that. And I am placing this file in the local disk in this file and here i have one header so i'm making it as header as one so that is all to do for uh, t file input delimited and now we have the data in it t file input delimited now what i want to do is i want to insert t java flex here t java flex so in to the output what i want to do is i want to insert t log row component i want to connect row 1 and then row 2 to main so just like t java row the t java flex also will work based on the every record not uh, only it will it won't execute only once it will execute for every record that we have uh, if you based upon the requirement that you have so in basically in the t java it will get so executed only once in a, like once in the job execution whereas t java row it will get executed for all the records present in it similarly the t java flex will also get executed for every record that is present here but the basic difference between the t java row as well as t java flex is one thing is previously we followed the syntax as input underscore row as well as output underscore row for t java row but in the case of t java flex we don't need to follow any such type of uh, input underscore row or output underscore row the only thing that we need to follow is the row 2 and out, uh, row 1 that means the whatever the output uh, output uh, row name as well as uh, input row name are there we are going to use those names as well so that is one thing one difference and one more difference is here in the t java row we only have the main code uh, to write the logic for uh, translations and all but in the case of t java flex if you go uh, so as, uh, as shown in the component tab here uh, we have three types of codes here one is start code main code and then end code so what it will do is the start code will get executed whenever the particular component will start gets executing that means it only gets executed only once for that particular component that means if you want to execute the t java flex so uh, what the start code will do is whenever you want to initialize some values to some value uh, so some variables to some value then you are going to specify that particular values into the start code and if you want to do any modifications for that particular uh, record and if you want to do some iterations uh, like if you want to do some modifications for all the records present in it then you need to place that particular record in the main code and 
once everything gets completed while closing you want to assign the final values to some other value some other variables then you are right uh, you need to write that particular code into end code so these are the main three codes present in the t java flex so what it means is the start code will gets executed only once for that particular component and end code will also gets executed only once uh, in uh, after the completion of that com that component and main code is the only one which uh, which gets executed for all the records present in the uh, present in that uh, flow so what i want to do here is here we already have a one context variable here records count now what i want to do is previously we have uh, we have two types of uh, we have seen two types of uh, sorry only one type one type by using a component variable by considering a con component variable and assigning to the uh, that records count now what i want to do is here here we are getting uh, prices also now i want to filter a little bit here i want to uh, initialize some value with int i the all these are uh, similar to or else int count is equal to 1 all the initializations and the code what you written in the t java fx is all same as the java code if you are good in java then uh, these are like a piece of cake so this is the only initialization that i want whenever uh, sorry i will mention it as zero so what it means is whenever this uh, the flow will goes to t java flex then the count will gets uh, there is a new variable called count which is an integer and gets initialized to zero and in the main variable what i want to do is so i want to assign all the things like uh, row 2 dot id equals to row 1 dot id sorry it is showing some error row 2 dot id equals to row 1 dot id similarly row 2 dot product name equals to row 1 dot product name previously in the java code what we did is what we did is we used the uh, for the output we used as output underscore row for the input we used as input underscore row but here we are just using the row names as the output and input so this is the like uh, this provides a more flexibility for the user to write the code and all and for the price what i want to do is if i, I want to do some translation here if uh, row one dot price is less than 20,000 then I want to make row 2 dot price sorry I'm making it as row 2 dot price as some 19399 and then I am incrementing the count value and I am closing it similarly else I am making this to row two dot price equals to some thirty nine triple nine and then count plus plus. So what it will do is first of all row I, row two dot id is equal to row one dot id that means id will directly get mapped and as well as the similarly product name is directly gets mapped but for the row one dot price uh, what it will do is if the row one dot price is less than 20,000 then we are assigning the row two dot price as 19999 and we are incrementing the count value similarly if the row, uh, row one dot price is other greater than 20,000 then we are assigning the row two dot price as 39999 and we are also incrementing the count plus plus so all whatever the code that i am writing here this is not a logical code just i was writing to illustrate the main logic or uh, the main component logically it doesn't have any meaning so this is what i written in the uh, main code here that means uh, the translations that i need i have mentioned in the main code and i mentioned the uh, initializations in the start code similarly what i want to do here is in the end code I want to assign the final count value to the context dot records count. That means uh, the total value count 
is nothing but the number of records processed that means whatever the counts uh, that we have whether it is uh, greater than 20000 or less than 20000 in both the cases we mentioned the count plus plus so finally at last we uh, we are assigning the last final count value to the context dot records count and we are also printing we can also print the system dot out dot print ln context dot records count yeah save it so these are the things so this is how you can write uh, the logic in the start code end code and main code and in the t log row i make it as a table format and sync columns and so i'm saving it and in the run tab i will just run let us see what is the output maybe it is showing some error so it is showing price is not an error price is less price what is the schema here it is not getting the schema okay okay now i think it's uh, correct i can run this again so what uh, output is coming like so previously in the output input file we have two records with the uh, price value as less than 20k that is uh, the uh, id as 124 and 126 is having a price value less than 20 and only the 123 record is having a price is a 50000 so that means uh, based on our condition the value the price of the first record is 3999 and for the rest of the two column the price will be as 1999 so if you check the output so it is coming like that only for the last two records it is coming as 1999 and for the first record it is coming as 3999 so this is how you can modify and uh, here it is coming like uh, that whatever the context variable that we have assigned it is also coming the value as 3 here so this is how you can use t java flex components for transformations and whenever you want to assign some value during that particular running time and you want to initialize uh, like you want to assign some final value to some context variables and all then you can use and code as well so in such type of cases uh, you can use t java flex but in most of the cases people will use the t java row component mostly when compared to t java flex and t java row, uh, t java component and uh, t java flex is mostly used whenever you want to write completely pure java code then only we will get used into uh, the t java flex component so I think all your gets gets uh, solved. I hope uh, this video helps you to find out whatever the doubt that you are facing. So that's all for this video guys. Thank you for watching.